Um, first of all, I'd like to thank the committee. I'm honored to be here to speak before you this morning. And what I want to share with you are my strategies for survival. And I know the agenda talks about strategies for success. You make that determination. <laughs> Let me give you a little bit of a background on me. I am the chief of the city of Detroit. Uh, the population there is about 950,000. Um, I am a political appointee of the mayor of the city of Detroit. We have a strong mayor form of government. Um, so I just want to start off real quick and then I'll, I'll go back through and fill it up. I define politics as the ability to influence. And if you take that in, and you keep that in mind, you have to ask yourself, what are you influencing? Politicians um, are trying to influence government and practical wisdom of the constituents that they serve. So now that you have a definition of politics, before you get engaged, you need to know who you are. You need to know what form of government you're operating under. You need to know how you were brought into the position that you're in. You need to know about your internal and external stakeholders. And what has allowed me to survive is I have a shared belief in my mayor's vision. If you don't, you will fail. I come from a city where my mayor grew up in politics. He's a very, very astute politician. And if you do not believe in his vision, and that is not the vision that you're pushing, and that is not the agenda that you're p pushing forward, believe me, he will know. I have gone through a mayoral re-election, and what I will tell you is that it is a snake pit. So you really have to be prepared for it. I will talk a, a little bit about what that was like. I hope I never have to go through it again on that level, even though my mayor's re-election is coming up in about two years. In order to survive, I have always believed that leaders are not born. I believe that they are created. I think that if you go with the fallacy that they're born, it does not take into account the experiences that you have as an individual, your education, uh, the people that you meet. I also believe that over time you can sharpen your political skills. Three and a half years ago when I was appointed chief in November of 2003, I couldn't do the things then that I do today. I learned over the last three and a half years through the experiences that I encountered, through colleagues that I have on major city chiefs of police, through the uh, IACP, the International Association of Chiefs of Police, and PERF, the Police Executive Research Forum.